Today in this video we will learn about how to install PrestaShop in your cPanel manually. If you want to install PrestaShop in your cPanel manually, then in that case we need to follow few steps. First of all, go to your web browser and then enter the given address that is prestashop.com. Now here, you can download PrestaShop zip file into your local PC. You simply need to enter your email ID and then agree to the terms. In this way, you will be able to download PrestaShop into your local PC. Just save that file and then reach your cPanel and then go to file manager section. Now finally, here inside public underscore HTML you can create a new directory. If you want to install PrestaShop directly in your domain, then you can ignore this step. Now upload your zip file in the same directory. You simply need to upload that zip file which you downloaded in the earlier step. Once the zip file is uploaded successfully, you can extract its content by simply right clicking and then click over extract. Now the next step is to reach your cPanel and then go to MySQL database. Now here create a new database with any name. Finally add a database user. Enter your password for that user and then click over create user. Make sure you remember all the credentials that you are creating. Now add this user to database. Click over all privileges to assign all privileges and then click over make changes. Now finally go to PrestaShop directory from outside via web browser. In this way you will be able to enter the installation procedure. Now select the language and then click over next button. Agree to the terms and conditions and then go next. Finally, here your store information appears. You just need to enter your shop details. Your first name, last name, email address and the shop password which will be required at the time of login while having a back office access. Now click over next. Now here, enter your database details which you have created earlier. In the database server address, you can enter localhost if it is situated in the same server. Otherwise, if you are fetching database from remote location, you can enter the remote IP. Enter other details and then go next. Now this will take little time to install and then your installation for PrestaShop will be completed soon. Now from here you can go to your back office. Once you reach your back office, you will find an error that you have not deleted your install folder. So go to your PrestaShop installation directory and then delete install folder first. This is necessary from security point of view. Now again, refresh the page and then enter your login credentials to reach your back office. Once you have successfully reached your PrestaShop back office, this dashboard will be ready to use.